We're going beyond the dugout with Tribe rookie Tristan McKenzie, who had a stellar Major League debut on Saturday. I got the chance to sit down with him during spring training, and tonight he'll take the mound in St. Louis again. But for now, we're talking about his other secret talent, and it might surprise you. And I want to be clear, we shot this interview before the pandemic hit, so you'll see us close together and not masked. Tristan McKenzie joins me now on Beyond the Dugout. This is your first time. Is there a little sweat maybe? I mean, are you nervous about this? This uh, is... Do butterflies count as excitement and nervousness at the same time? Absolutely. I'm right there. I like that That's answer. right where I am. All right. Do you have any secret talents? I can solve a Rubik's Cube. That's it. That's the only that's, thing. That's the only thing. <laughs> How quickly can you do it? Uh, under two minutes, maybe a minute and a half. When's the first time you did that? Spring training of 2018. Was when I, that's when I. That's when I learned. Toughest challenge you've ever had to face? Uh, I'd say my senior year, I I lost uh, a cousin of mine, a very young cousin. She was, I want to say she was four or five months old at the time. But I, I always keep her close to me. I always write her initials on my hat, and and that's something I keep very near and dear to my heart in terms of like, I always want to thank thank God and thank myself for like being able to be healthy and go out there and play the game. And just being alive, you know, going out there, be able to do what I love. Yeah, you learned a lot from that. Yeah. Well, let's let's switch to a different gear. Okay. Okay. Let's laugh a little. What's what's the last thing you can remember that made you laugh really hard, and who made you do it? Probably yesterday. <laughs> um, I was with a couple of my guys, uh, Xavier Curry. We drafted last year out of Georgia Tech. Michael Cooper. Uh, Juan Hillman. He was in my draft class. There was a couple of guys that we were with, and we were just kind of making fun of one of our other teammates, Richie Palacios, uh, just on his clothing selection because Richie's very into fashion, but at times it can get a little a little wild. So we were just clowning on him about some of his fashion choices. Yeah, fashion choices, that, that could be tricky. Are you uh, into social media? Uh, a little more than I'd like to admit. Okay, what are, you, what are you into most, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook? Instagram. Instagram and then Twitter. I'm not really on Facebook at all. No, favorite yeah. emoji? Laughing emoji is number one on my phone. <laughs> and then they have a new one where it's like, I guess the guy kind of looks drunk, but it, it's kind of, <laughs> that it has nothing to do with alcohol, I uh, promise. Yeah, who it's, are you sending that to? <laughs> I send it to everybody. It's usually when I'm, when I'm confused about something or if I say something oh, as yeah. a joke. Okay, all right. <laughs> guy kind of guy, guy looks messed up, it's the face I give him. Okay, anyway, don't ever give that to me though. I'll, that see, that face that I just gave yeah, you, that's the face. You gave it to me. All right. And on that note, we'll take you off the hot seat. Sounds good. Did you have fun? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, I adore him. <laughs> I told you yesterday yeah, you would you love did. him, Holly, right? Oh, my gosh. He could solve a Rubik's Cube. I still can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> How about the emojis? The I, emojis. I knew you would like that. Totally with it. Yep. Yeah. The laughy face is right up there on my list, too. No, I mean, how sincere and just what a genuinely kind person. Yeah, can I tell you this? I walked away from that interview, and again, that was in spring training. Obviously, we didn't talk about the things going on in right. the world right now, right? Because we taped that back in spring training. Yeah. But I remember walking away feeling the same way I did after I walked away talking to Francisco Lindor back when he was with the uh, Akron minor league team, and he was so young. Yeah. When you meet these guys and you know they're mature beyond their years, and now we've already seen it on the diamond last Saturday, and just you can hear him talk, you know that he is very, very good. Yeah, I literally just got goosebumps as you said that. It's so cool. Yeah, I love these. Thank you for bringing them to us, Dave. <laughs> All right.